You're listening to the Conference Board of Canada's Mental Health and COVID-19 series with Dr. Bill Howitt, Chief of Research, Workplace Productivity. Hi, Bill Howitt, Mental Health COVID-19 with the Conference Board of Canada. Welcome. Today, I'm going to have a conversation with you about one of the elements I think that's really super important to keep in mind during this process while we start to reopen our economy, we start to strengthen and and deal with our challenges, perhaps at home that we're unmending. There's all kinds of people that have been in different situations in this uncertainty. And one of the things that's the foundation of human relationships, getting along with other human beings, the concept that we all know what it means, sometimes have a hard time articulating that being trust. If you ask someone how to define that, it's important for us to be able to be aware that we may struggle by times and admit that we struggle by times, defining, understanding exactly what the formula for trust is. However, we have a sense to know when we trust someone and not. Some of it can be a sixth sense and some of it can be based on the person's habits. Two factors that really predict trust are honesty, if people words are congruent and they what they say you can learn to trust integrity if a person does what they say and they follow through and the honesty and integrity is that concept of how we build trust and trust can take years to earn and seconds to lose and so in this time of uncertainty when emotion sometimes can be high it's important to be managing our trust Elman talks about a trust index. They used in corporations for years and to be able to help understand what employees trust in their leadership. And it's, a, it's, a, it's an asset that organizations value because when employees trust their leaders and believe in their leaders, that can actually drive productivity, uh, uh, attendance, and, and all the goodwill and innovation. So in, for all of us, whether we're a corporation or we're an individual, the currency that I want to ensure that I bring forward today for your consideration, again, this is not therapy or counseling, just a point of view, is the currency of trust. And the mnemonic trust is to me is really important to be able to, how do we manage that currency of trust? And I think it's important to be congruent with yourself, and we'll start with the T. Tell people what you believe to be true and hold your point of view. So we know that when a person can make a stand for what they believe in and they're consistent, congruent, and they mind us, they, they, they're, you know, one day they say one thing to you and then you get on a call, the next thing they say something different, that will actually start to erode trust. So if you want to protect trust, tell people what you believe to be true and follow through on that belief. The R, realize, and any type you're in a situation with someone, realize the R is that you don't always have all the facts. And before you assume someone else is being dishonest or someone doing something, be clear that you have one side of the story and sometimes the absence of facts and based on our own fatigue or our own uncertainty or our own anxiety, we can sometimes jump conclusions and get frustrated. If we want to protect trust, it's important just to settle. And sometimes even we hear something we don't like to hear or or it's not exactly what we wanted. We have a picture in our head is to slow down and just catch yourself and say, you know, there might be another side. What am I missing here? Get all your facts before you react, because the goal, again, is to protect trust. The you understand that words and your actions matter. And we can seldom take those back. They're really hard to walk those things back. Saying, well, you know, I didn't mean to do that or not. Apologizing is great because we don't have to be perfect and we're not, we are going to make mistakes. So let's not be Pollyannish that we have to be perfect because that's not going to happen. That's a setting us up for failure. However, fact patterns, people are going to start to watch and they're going to observe. So if you do something once or twice, people start seeing a trend. That's one erosion of trust. Now, it could be one incident, could be breach someone's trust. But often for people, it's the little things that starts to erode, it creates those patterns. So understand your words and actions. You're accountable for them and you own them. The S is show respect. 
that's really important to show respect. We don't need to be disrespectful to someone, even if we disagree with them or we don't believe in it. Show your respect and, and ask people if the people have a challenge or an issue, you know, have them bring it to you. Um, this whole email and virtual world we're living in, I'm finding some people are getting a little bit more edgy, a little bit shorter with each other. Let's keep the human factor in this and understand that people are people and we're all all want to be treated with respect and respect is being aware of the other person's point of view is having some empathy that they may see the world different than you and then the t is talk openly about your your points of view your what your thinking is uh you know what your world is and then go back and forth and you're talking openly what it really means is be open to the possibility that you could learn different things from other people by engaging in their conversations. And how we get trust from other people is to validate that their point of view matters and that we'll actually listen and hear other people. And the more we actually pay attention to this currency of trust and understand that it's probably one of the big formulas for all relationships, it can help mitigate our stress level because one of the challenges many of us struggle with is relationship conflict and a part of the relationship conflict at the stem is sometimes we don't pay attention to that currency of trust that can help us get through challenging times by learning and growing with each other where we're not hurting or taking away from the other person so just a few thoughts for you to consider um, as we all continue to learn what this new normal is whatever it is but we'll get there one day at a time. Take care. All the best. Hi, Bill Howitt here. Hopefully you're finding these videos of some value. If you'd like to share these, on the lower right of your video, there's a icon you can click. You can send it through your social media feeds. Join the Conference Board of Canada social media feed so we can keep you up to date. And if you have ideas or suggestions, please leave your comment so we can consider them. And if you have things that you'd like us to speak to, I certainly will try to do all I can to help out. With that, have a wonderful day.